Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna do some jobs on an old Kenwood 2 meter Omo transceiver TR751. Before we start, we have to do some technical checking to this unit because the condition is unknown. So we have power it on. Up. We can hear some noise. You see, the RF gain is working. We can switch mode. Goes from six to four. Now we are going to check if the receiver and transmitter are working. Ok, now I am going to do some basic receive and transmit tests. The radio is set to 145.5 MHz in FM mode. We hear some noise. And I am going to use ICOM radio which is set to the same frequency 105 uh, 145.5 and I press PTT and nothing is happening. Kenwood does not receive any signal from ICOM. So the receiver is not working same frequency FM mode and icon does not receive any signal The transmit section doesn't work either. When we press PTT we can see that RF meter is going up. So cannot transmit but it may be on other frequency. 
when I look to the meter, the radio consumes about two and a half amperes. So obviously it's give some RF power. Yes, the dummy load is getting hot. Now we can see that the frequency counter shows 139.687 megahertz. So the radio is transmitting, but it's out of band. Look at the same frequency on ICOM. Test, test. So we see the radio is transmitting completely out of band. Okay, so let's look inside the radio and we see and we do some tests. Okay, now we have the radio open. And the first test I am going to do is to check if IF section is working properly. I'm going to use mini VNI set to generator mode with frequency set to 10.656 MHz. It is IF frequency for this unit. We set to USB mode and we insert some signal to the IF section. So we hear that the radio is receiving signal from gener generator RF gain is working I change generator frequency okay so it looks that IF section of the radar is working okay and now we have to do some further tests to find out what is going wrong before I perform any Further test, I will look at the blog diagram of the radio. We know that the receiver and the transmitter are not working properly, so we look for a common section. And we can see that the common part is PLL system. generates all the necessary frequency for the mixer detector and of course and of course for the first mixer so the parallel system is used for receiving and transmitting and we are going to check it first PLL section we can see there's an a loop and B loop. We have some oscillators. Multiplier. Some mixers. First of all we can check 
if there's any signal and generators working for 11.805 megahertz and of course 10.24 megahertz generator the radio is on and I am going to use the same ICOM which has very wide receiver to check if the generators are working. First I check 11.805 I'm sorry and as we see Here is the section, quartz oscillator, and we have clean 11.805 signal, 10.240, here is the oscillator section, and Nothing happened. I switched off the radio. Now it's on. No. So it looks like We have a problem with this section, which generates frequency 10.24 megahertz. So we have to check it. Probably it's problem with crystal oscillator okay so I removed the IF board the soldier is resonator and I am going to check it And it seems resonator is shorted. Okay, so we now know why this oscillator didn't work. Actually, I don't have at this time the spare resonator, so just for checking I do it with another it is for example 12 megahertz so I will solder it directly to the board Okay, again I will, I will use the icon radio, set 
to 12 megahertz and okay let's power it up and here we are generator work okay so it seems we found the problem it was the broken resonator now I have to buy one and and then replace it and do another test with this radio I hope it will work okay after replacement but this I will show in second part of this movie.